welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today we continue our Harajuku Girl project. We're going to be making some kawaii accessories. They'll be put on the doll in a later video. But first, I want to tell you about my kawaii stuff giveaway. I put a link in the description box below to a video that describes everything. But basically, all my subscribers will be entered in a drawing on April 15th to win this pack of stuff. So check out that video to learn more about what's, what all is included. All right, let's get started on our video for today. We're going to be using some tools for, for polymer clay, a cutter, a X-Acto, a couple of shapers that I really like. Um, these are just the, my special ones that I use on just about everything, so I wanted to show them to you. And then we're going to place what we make over on this aluminum foil, and it'll go in the oven to bake. Now I'm using, beginning with uh, some Primo Sculpey clay that I had. Uh, this, this clay is a little harder, um, and after I used it on this first batch of, of uh, items, I actually went out and bought some different clay, and I'll tell you about that when we get to that point. First of all, I'm going to make a candy cane stripe roll to go into a lollipop. So basically, you just get three colors that you like and roll them together, and then you just start twisting at one end and twist it around and around until you have it the size that you want. And you can use any colors that you want. I just chose these blue, sort of a pink and white. Now I'm using some um, a, a toothpick basically for the handle and I just cut off the end of that. And you can use a nail file to file the rough edge so that it's smooth on the end. Then I'm gonna use some liquid Sculpey that will help hold that swirl of clay together and also will help hold that wooden piece in. It dries into a clear clay basically is what it does. So I'm going to push that handle in there a little bit more and then pop it over onto the aluminum foil and we'll just continue making things and adding it to the foil. I decided since I already had this swirl made that I would go ahead and make another one of these so basically the same process. This um, Primo Sculpey bakes at 275 for 30 minutes. Um, and it's a little, like I said, it's a little firm. But the thing about it is it holds its shape better when you're moving it around. Now I'm going to make a little star out of this ball of light green clay. And basically just going to cut out the little points of the star. And then I can shape it more with my tools and my fingers. A little bit later in the video I make one with the other clay and show you a different way to make it. We're going to put a little face on it. For this one I'm just going to roll out some black clay to make the eyes and a little tiny mouth. So just a little tiny bit of black clay, roll that out and then you can cut a little tiny piece off for the eyes and another one for the mouth. And you want to go ahead and shape it into a little smile before you put it on there. Okay, so there, there's a little star. All of these are sort of classic kawaii type shapes that you're going to see. Um, this next one that we're going to make is, is an ice cream cone. And I'm taking some brown clay and shaping it into the base. And then I'm taking my little cutter tool and putting some cross marks in it to make it look like the waffle cone uh, design on the cone. So just do uh, some indentions one way and then turn it around and do some the other way to cross edge it. All right, and now for the scoops of ice cream, I'm putting uh, a little bit of green and then the little strip around the base I've roughed up a little bit and that's the part of the cone that escapes the uh, scoop. <laughs> I guess, and it's sort of bunched up around the bottom. And I'm going to make this a double dipper, so I'll make a, a pink scoop for the top. These pastel colors are all pretty classic. I put a little bit of liquid Sculpey across there just to help hold it all together. Since these things are so tiny, it's hard to smoosh them together without smooshing them completely out of shape. And since uh, that turned out pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. This one will be a single scoop. Same process. This one, though, is going to have uh, a blue scoop. 
and these are pretty easy to make and they turn out pretty pretty cute all right now I switched over to this other clay that I ran out to buy today <laughs> in the middle of my video um, this is Craftsmart I bought it at Michaels it's cheaper than the other clays the thing is it's very very soft I mean you don't have to hardly uh, process it at all to get it soft really it comes out soft so I'm gonna make a, a sort of Hello Kitty kind of face out of this and basically it's the ears the oval shaped head and then I'm making a little teeny tiny little pink bow and I realized you know when I'm doing this that the soft clay it, it's really hard for it to hold shape so it's a little bit harder to work with once you start making something but then the processing of the clay in, into a softness is so much easier now put the eyeballs in you could actually do this with a pen after you cook it I'm going to put her um, nose and whiskers in after I cook it but there's there's the basic shape and Hello Kitty is is uh, seen everywhere in in that Harajuku type setting or style all right now I'm going to make a little tiny rainbow and I'm doing this in two different ways in this video in this one I'm making the uh, the little different stripes curved as I make it and then the second way I'm going to make it I, I do it a little bit differently I make it straight and then curve it so I'm using all different colors all pastel type colors which is predominant in this kawaii type culture and then press it down a little bit and we'll scoop it up with our blade and put it on the aluminum foil now as I said I'm going to show you a, another way to make a star uh, this one is a little bit bigger and a little bit chunkier and I'm just using a end of a paintbrush to make the indentions that will define where the points are and then I'm using my little ballpoint tool to sort of shape it up a little bit better and then I'm going to put a couple of eyes on this I'll put the mouth on with ink later after we cook it all right so there's our little star a little bit different shape and it's a little bit bigger and that goes over on the aluminum foil and now we're going to move on to another project this time we're going to make a popsicle this is another thing you'll see fairly frequently I'm using some tan clay for the handle and then some pink clay that I'm shaping into the popsicle shape and then attaching the little handle to it and also for this I'm going to use uh, a marker when I cook it to put a face on it now I'm going to make a little cupcake this is cute <laughs> the um, orange is going to be the base of the cupcakes and I'm making marks around the side sort of like the uh, wrinkled cup and then I'm just taking a, a strand of, of white and sort of making that the icing swirled around on top and then taking little tiny pieces of different colors of clay for sprinkles and just plopping them over there with my exacto using the same pastel colors that we've used in the um, other items that we've made I thought this was really cute they really like to have the the donuts and the cupcakes and the things like that in that uh, culture all right so there's our little cupcake finished with the sprinkles so I've baked all of these I only baked those for 15 minutes because they were so small at 275 and they turned out fine and I'm taking this uh, micron pencil it has a really tiny point and first I'm putting a little yellow dot for the nose and then a, a black circle around it and then I did the little whiskers on the side and for a popsicle I did little eyes and a little mouth and some pink dots for cheeks and a little smile on our star and that's it for the soft clay part of the project now I'm going back to um, the harder clay to uh, make some additional items this is a little bare face and I'm just using uh, a circle and then rolling out a little tube that I'm going to cut in half for the ears and this one this is really easy then all you have to do is just um, roll out the black to make some eyes and a little mouth You can always do part of this with pen, the mouth especially. The eyes, I think, tend to look a little bit cuter if they're um, made out of clay. But 
for this guy, for this little bear face. I think it looks great like that. All right, so we're going to cook him up. And now for our next project, I just want to make a little small pink bow. And that's really easy to do. And we'll bake that up. And she could probably put that in her hair when we finish her. It's really simple to do. You can make a lot of those in little col different colors because um, Harajuku girls like to wear lots of little accessories in their hair. And now for the last, I think this is the last one, I'm making just a, a half moon shape out of um, a gold glittery clay. It's also Primo Sculpey. Yep, that's, that's all we need for that. And... For the next project, I'm going to do another rainbow, but this time I'm making it straight, and I'm making it out of the Sculpey clay, and then I'm going to curve it after I have all the pieces together. I was trying to different techniques with this. Um, I, this wouldn't have worked with the with the soft clay. It would have gotten out of shape when you're you know moving around with your fingers a lot. But for the harder clay, it did work and made a cute little pastel rainbow. Okay, so I baked everything, and here's our, all of our finished items. Later on in another video in the finishing look, we're going to be adding these to her hair and to her outfit. Now, don't forget the Super Kawaii Stuff giveaway and subscribe before it's too late on April 15th. As usual, we have lots more stuff coming up, and I hope you'll join me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, and as always, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Bye.